Here we go, boys, to the penthouse. Yeah. Pigeon livered. I know, right? Pigeon livered. Sounds great. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Whoa. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Hmm. I feel warped just looking at those strange runes. They, like, have some sort of, you know, power over me. Hmm. Okay. That's a little weird. I wish I could pick this stuff up, but... It's a speck of dust. Stay away from my crystal. Stay away from my... The crystal is impervious to your pathetic attempt at chilling. Stay away from my crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Okay. Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Bye, mm. Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Great view. I can see everything from here. Hmm. So it sounds like we're going to need to get a real person up here somehow. But I don't know how, because anyone we try to take up there, unless maybe we're in the elevator when he uses it? Let's try this. It's already closed. Oh, I can't switch characters when I'm in the elevator. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Okay. It's a button to call the elevator. Okay, so... Hmm. Now, here's the thing. We got... We got this guy up there. So, there has to be a way to get Company, other people thank up here. goodness you're back. So, Clara... Do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash, and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up, and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching. I love my cat. That show is so funny. Uh, Alanda Bar. Yeah, I'm a variety streamer, so I play a bunch of different games. Uh, understandably, not every game I play is for every person, just like games in general. Um, however, we will be playing more Battlegrounds tomorrow morning, if you're looking for that. And uh, regardless, thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's do this Who put Xavier you know, in charge. No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fustalugs and a clasomaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. Whoa. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. 
Well, I don't Guff. know. I'm not really the type. You know. We... How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Xavier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel, and there was something else too, I think. He took us to Chuck's funeral the other day. Chuck is my brother. Now you're just name dropping. Bye and good luck, Clara. The closed elevator door. Interesting. The doors are closed. Hmm. It's a cell. The cell phone has no reception. Uh, the Aurorian, the next big game I'm looking forward to is definitely Prey. We have Prey uh, in just a few weeks, and we're going to be doing a 100% run of it. Should be at least like 30 hours of awesome gaming. I'm pretty excited. Um, it's a button to call the elevator. Hmm. Oh, Dentist says, yeah, the floor 10 TV. Yeah, I was looking at that too. Let's go down to floor 10, see what we can do there. This channel is just that. What is that on the TV? Oh my, it's my favorite. I love my cat. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now. Polyban, oh hell yeah, dude. Boop. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. Oh, so the crystals in great view. I can see everything from here. Is this actually going to be open over here? It looks like a book can be placed here. I think it needs to be glowing to be able to work. It needs something from the dead. It's a math trophy with an infinity symbol and the name Dolores Edmund on it. Hmm. Um, we can do, oh, secret light switch. Damn. All right, so we need to put something that the person owned on there, and then we need to use the I book. I think it needs to be glowing to be able to work. It needs something from the We dead. could do the dad's watch, but that would be... That wouldn't be that guy. That would be the other thing. That wouldn't be what we're looking for. This watch is for this dude's dad. But we're trying to get... I'm wondering if we have anything of... 
the dead dad. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney, Brant Balowick. Payment in full for Will and... Do we have anything of the father's? Did the flower come from the grave? The flower came from near the grave, but I don't think. I just do this real quick. Maybe we can float him into the circle. We do have a teddy bear, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to revive Franklin. I'm trying to revive this guy. But I don't know. And we could try the pocket watch. Sure, why not? Also, let's try the flower. The book is glowing. Perfect. I don't know what words to say to cast the spell. Maybe only certain people can read the spell itself. Uh, what? The doors. Mumbo jumbo, mumbonius jumbonius. Let me visit my dead relatives. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. It's a heavy wrought iron gate to Brother Chuck's tomb. I see a switch inside. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. There's no water to splash there. He sees a switch inside, but I don't see How a switch. How much did Brother Chuck spend on this ostentatious tomb? Um, so maybe we have to open this somehow. Okay, Mumbonius Jumbonius, I know, right? Um, hmm. But I feel like that was what we were supposed to do. I thought that we were gonna do something different, but it looks like that was the right thing to do. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we just walk through? No, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> of course. Okay, so we just opened it for her. Or him. Let's see. First of all, the dust, the important part. It's much too heavy to open, and I don't think I want to anyway. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Ooh. Oh. I had good ideas if you would have given me a chance. I'm tired of you pushing me around. I had good ideas if you would have given me a chance. I had good ideas if you would have given me a chance. I'll never get to finish that delicious sandwich. I'm pretty much done with him once we escape. It's Chuck Edmund's sarcophagus. Serves him right. It's much too heavy to open. And I don't think I want to anyway. We need his fingerprint. I wonder if we can just use the fingerprint kit on him. Can we just use this from here? Oh, that is so handy. There's no more fingerprint powder left. Where did we get the original tape? We got it from a tape dispenser. I don't remember where. 
Oh no, we used the lever to open the gate. Yeah. Oh, I thought you picked up soot. Did you not pick up soot? Do you have the soot? Hold on. I think the girl has the soot. It's in the post office. Okay, thank you. Who, who has the soot? Oh, we lost it. Great. Now I'm... We gave this to the clown? Oh, okay. That will just make a big mess. Like I don't have enough to carry already. That will just make a big mess. It's much too heavy to open, and I don't think I'd want to anyway. It's a math trophy with an infinity symbol and the name Dolores Edmund on it. Hmm. It doesn't work on that. Okay, well. Um. My old circus poster featured the amazing rant. Oh, That's a rare first edition. So, let's see here. Use the soot on the kit? I didn't, maybe? Plenty of powder now. I don't want to waste the powder on that. We need to get his fingerprint so we can open the gate back at, um, let's go to the post office real quick and get some more tape. Yeah, we need to, we need to figure out how to get the, uh, hmm. Peter's Pet Emporium, there's YouTube. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord it's to the ringing. receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? The hell? What was that bank called? Simple something? No. Oh, pick up phone, you think? I thought I thought it's out of order. Yeah, it's out of order. Safely. Safety. Okay. Ah. Two six eight six. Okay. This is closed though, right? The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. There's a speck of dust there, and there's also one over here. Right? Oh, there's not one down here anymore. There's no path beyond this point. It if by look at, you mean smell, I've already done that. Pizza! What a free pizza coupon! Wink, wink. Are you coming on to me? Are you coming on to me? Ah. Uh, I don't think I understand. Is the pizza free or the coupon free? Ah. Uh, I don't think I understand. You could be arrested for dressing like that. Who are you? Are you the cops? I'm a flooring inspector. You're a fed! Well, I can tell by the suit. 
Oh, I just knew it. He looks like Sam. Look at him tapping his foot. I need to see a warrant. This is an illegal arrest. Ah! Uh. Free Movietron movie rental. Best pizza in town. Thimbleweed pizza. Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. Code 453191? Uh. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The Movietron seems to be broken. It's stuck. It doesn't work on that. See if we can use a two puller. Boop. It's a TX one one three eight tube, and it looks. Is this where YouTube is? Yeah. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter. Welcome to- Hi, Rick. Nice tubes. Oh, yeah, your Uncle Chuck's my hero, and he loved my pies. Oh, wait. It's been a Oh, I have- People used to line up around yeah, that map, and I can see how busy you are. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a... You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Hmm. I have... So we can't ask her for tubes on her. We don't have an 1138, do we? I don't think so. Can you ask for tubes? Hey there, let's go over to... Well, hi. Oh, I thought you feds had left town already. What with that murder being solved and everything? We still have a few loose ends to tie up. Well, good luck with that. What can I do for you, hun? Yeah, I can't... Goodbye. Don't be a stranger, hun. Hmm. It's a TX1138 tube. And it looks burned out. Maybe I can go back to that. Uh, maybe we can find another one here in the mansion, in the workshop. Can you steal the one back from the sheriff's machine? That wasn't a, a THX one. Yeah. That was a different one. I'm gonna see real quick if we can get the tube in this uh, office over here. Can we give her the broken tube? That's a good idea, maybe we can. There it is. There it is. Boom. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Wait, I don't even need to do this. Why was that guy digging on the second floor? We have no idea. We don't know. Did we try the fingerprint set on Chuck's books? No, not yet. Nope, we can maybe get a fingerprint in his, uh, his place. That's a good idea. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I loved it, but not so sure about the ending. Huh. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything?
a Betamax player. I know I know that we've we've seen Betamax at somewhere else. Um in here, was it? No, we have to call this guy. Oh. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Was it the Quickie Pal? Quickie Pal has a Betamax player. Okay, let's check that out real quick. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Whoa, the feds are back. What brings you to town again, that? Can you tell me anything? Uh, other than it being... Yeah. Nah, fact. Gotta get you on... You can just return it in the movie Tron when you're done. Enjoy! We're back... Oh, I get it. Loose ends. Wank, wank. I don't know what you think you get, but don't ever wink at me again. I, I just mean I get what you mean by loose ends. I'm cool, man. You don't have to be coy with me. I'll keep my lip zipped on your gnarly bears. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what you think we're doing. You dudes are like the total James Bond deal, right? License to kill and all that tubular jazz? <laughs> I won't say anything if you came to tie up some of those loose ends. Do you think we're here to murder someone? That's what loose ends is code for, right? No. Come on, you can tell me. I'm big time down, broski. Unless... Uh, I'm the loose end? Uh, I swear, I was only holding on to that stuff for a friend. Please don't hurt me, dude. <sighs> <laughs> she just sighs. <sighs> What's the deal with the plant? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never even looked in my closet before. I thought it was a tomato plant. I was talking about the man-eating plant in front of us, you wasteoid. Phew. For a minute there, I thought I was busted. Good save, Leonard. Why do you have a man-eating plant in the store? My boss thought it might eat some of the rats that like to run across the counter. Customers don't like to see a rodent chomping on their grindage, you know? Uh, but so far, all it's done is bite a finger off some kid who tried to lift a candy bar. Boy, did we get some cred for that. Can you tell me? Uh, yeah. nah, factory has been... Okay. Gotta get you. Okay, so we need to find a phone. Oh, well, no, we don't. It's a cell phone. Lamisil is so on it. Thank you, Lamisil. All right. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? I'd like to open an account. I don't believe you. Please stop wasting my time. Now, goodbye. We'll be back here. It's Chuck Edmund's sarcophagus. Serves him right. It's Chuck Ed. No, uh, not here. No. We want to go in the bank. Now we need to somehow talk to him and convince him to. Hello, safely first.
Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? Yes, I'm your friendly, obscene caller. No, you're not. The obscene caller makes a lot of filthy noises and moaning sounds. Now, goodbye. Like the ghost? It's a cell phone. Apex Dad agreed. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Is anyone there? I'd like to order two pizzas to go. I think you have the wrong number. This is a bank. Now, good. Okay. So none of these options are going to work. Um, 